Did you know eating 12 Oreo cookies a day could lower your cholesterol? It's true, but before you claim cookies as health food, here's the catch. That Oreo study was done on just one guy with a rare metabolic profile referred to as a lean mass hyperresponder. But that's a perfect reminder. Don't base your health choices on just one study, particularly a case study. A much better guide or meta-analyses, like the 225 study of over 146 trials with more than 8,600 people, which compared different types of exercise for cholesterol control. Here's what it found. Aerobic exercise like running, cycling, and walking delivered the most consistent results. It lowered total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, while nudging HDL, the good cholesterol, upwards. Average changes were between 6 to 8 milligrams per deciliter lower for the bad lipids and 2 milligrams per deciliter increase for the HDL. Overall, roughly a 3 to 12% improvement. Resistance training was unimpressive for lipids. Across dozens of trials, it consistently boosted HDL, but did significantly drop LDL cholesterol, triglycerides, or total cholesterol. Still, it's excellent for bone, muscle, and long-term health, just not your main cholesterol-lowering tool. However, a combination of aerobic and resistance training showed the best results. Together, they lowered more bad lipids and raised HDL. Why? Aerobic training burns more calories and improves fuel metabolism, while resistance training builds muscle and raises metabolic rate. In other words, together they cover multiple fronts. This study also found that more weekly sessions, longer sessions, and longer training programs all boosted the improvements a little more so consistency matters. The bottom line, if your goal is to lower cholesterol and triglycerides, aerobic training is essential, resistance training alone is limited, but putting the two together is the most powerful strategy. So if you want to help lower your cholesterol, pick up your sneakers, not a sleeve of Oreos. Unless that sleeve gets consumed after completing a marathon. That's peer-reviewed in my book. Check out my YouTube channel for more evidence-based health and fitness facts. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research.